This video will explore what sustained shared thinking is and why it is important for children's learning and development in the early years, as well as suggestions of how you can develop it in your practice. So what is sustained shared thinking? One definition of sustained shared thinking is when two or more individuals work together in an intellectual way to solve a problem, clarify a concept, evaluate an activity, extend a narrative, etc. And both parties must contribute to the thinking and it must develop and extend the understanding. It happens more often between a child and a practitioner or between two children. So why is sustained shared thinking useful? Sustained shared thinking helps children to develop their thinking skills as they are encouraged to be curious, think critically and problem solve. This positively impacts their overall learning and development as children engage in deeper thinking in all areas of learning. Research has found that sustained shared thinking was in settings where children made the most progress and the revised Development Matters guidance says it was especially powerful for supporting communication and language. Sustained shared thinking connects with many aspects of pedagogy and can help you to reflect on the nature of thinking skills, language development, the role of the adult and its relation to the zone of proximal development and co-construction. So now you know what sustained shared thinking is, how can you support the development of sustained shared thinking in your setting? In the most effective settings, adults asked open-ended questions, provided feedback to children during activities and combined modeling with shared thinking. There are many ways to support sustained shared thinking in settings, and these can include an adult tuning in, showing genuine interest, recapping, suggesting, reminding, using encouragement, as well as offering an alternative viewpoint, speculating and reciprocating. It can be useful to use questioning to help encourage children's reflection and extend their thinking. Questions could include, how could you find out? What do you think? And do you think everyone else would think the same? What do you think is happening? Can you tell me more about that? How can you make build this? If you would like to reflect on sustained shared thinking more in your setting, you can use the sustained shared thinking and emotional well-being scale to reflect and assess how much sustained shared thinking is present in your setting and any areas for development. If you would like to learn more about sustained shared thinking and support it in your setting, we have prompt cards on site and a blog which has examples of sustained shared thinking and how to support it.